I don't get it. They showed me two trailers that pretty much set me up for a big party. They told me it barely escaped an NC-17 rating. They told me it was wild, crazy, vulgar, just things like you wouldn't even believe. And yet, I still was not prepared for The Wolf of Wall Street. And apparently neither was the audience once the people at the screener said it was three hours. Where do you even begin with this movie? Um, Leonardo DiCaprio plays um, Jordan Belfort, a real person who um, shows up at Wall Street at, uh, when he's young and he kind of gets sucked into the life and really just, once he just starts making millions upon millions upon millions, like this guy just goes, is, I don't even know if crazy is the right word for it. He just does not care. Like, it's like he's married, but hookers, drugs, just every little thing, just you have... Like, this, this movie is just, it, it, it just does not give any craps, like, at all. Like, I, I'm, like, concerned that pretty much everyone involved in making this movie was not doing cocaine in the process. Like, I don't understand how you could make this movie sober. This movie is, like, the drunkest college fraternity that you can think of. And then give them suits and then put them in New York. And have them actually be kind of good at their, what they do. And this is what that movie is like. And it is just three hours of just like, are you kidding me? And it's like, you hit a certain point where you're just like, okay, I, I can buy some of this. It's really happening. But as a whole, I would like to think that Jordan Belfort, the real Jordan Belfort, is exaggerating. But, um, but yeah, we're mainly following Leonardo DiCaprio. And he kind of just recruits different people. Um... Particularly, um, his, I guess his second-hand man is, is, uh, Donnie, or Danny, played by Jonah Hill, who, again, in this performance is just crazy. Like, everyone is just unhinged, um, and it's like they're saying things, they're doing things, just like you wouldn't believe, like, I, I am shocked that this movie did not get an NC-17 rating. And but what makes it work, like, for all the craziness, what makes it work is Martin, Martin Scorsese's direction direction like th there's a scene like I don't even want to say halfway through where him and where Leonardo DiCaprio and Jonah Hill take drugs and it's kind of just like these are drugs that they're really looking forward to so they take it nothing really happens they and then it, it eventually kicks in and it just becomes this drawn out physical comedy sequence and it's just like I cannot imagine a scene that took that long working as well as it did in another director's hands, and that is what Martin Scorsese brings to the table. Like, I can honestly say this is the one he works for it for. He plays such a douchebag, that, and that's underselling it, but you like this character. He is ripping off so many people. He is misogynist, just, oh my god, the things that he does in this movie are just awful but you like them you're laughing you're just everything throughout the movie throughout the movie and it and it's kind of interesting because he's doing all these awful things but like toward the end he eventually does cross the line and then it was interesting seeing what that line for the audience was because it's just like you're laughing you're laughing and then there's that moment where you're just like oh i can't believe he did that that's awful um if i were to criticize anything i would say hmm the movie does kind of end on a whimper, and um, I, I don't know, it's like, if I were the one editing it, I probably would have cut the last scene out entirely. Also, I, I am curious about if this movie is, is going to get any kind of backlash for just the way it portrays characters, and particularly women, because it's just like, there's a lot of nudity, a lot of girls kind of spread out, and in, and in the context of the movie, I did find it. Not necessarily necessary, but I did find it, I guess, appropriate. Like, it worked in that context. But there were just several times where I'm like, huh. And it's like, there. I, I really cannot think of any words to describe just, just how crazy this movie gets. It's like, everyone is fully committed to these roles. Like, every character gets pretty messed up at one point. Like, 
at some point you're gonna see just about every character naked. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jonah Hill, like, most of the female characters, just everyone, just like, it's just party after party after party. Like, next thing you know, they're in the office and it's just like, they're doing cocaine and then making a phone call to make a business transaction. Like, they're doing cocaine and it's just, it is just crazy what this movie goes through. And it's just like, wow. Hi folks, I'm currently editing my Wolf of Wall Street review and it turns out that um, I'm kind of missing some footage so I'm just gonna wrap it up for you right now. Honestly, this movie is the craziest movie that I've ever seen in my life and definitely one of the best movies I've seen this year. Everyone did a good job and I highly recommend you go see it, just maybe not with family on Christmas. And um, that's my review of The Wolf of Wall Street.